Hello everyone. Welcome back. All glory be to God. We are together again. Okay, I don't want to take a lot of your time. I had two really quick dreams uh, that I wanted to share with you. Today is September 5th, 2018. And on September 2nd, 2018, I had a very interesting uh, two dreams. Um, the reason I think I it was probably split in two, my daughter woke me up. And... Um, I think it got interrupted, uh, but it was it was clear. The second one, I believe, was an, an encouragement for the first one. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so I um, was in this work environment, and I apologize. I want to. I'm going back to the dream in my mind. Okay, so I dreamt I was in this jungle-like work environment so I knew it was a place of business professional but it looked like an terrarium or arboretum it was it was foliage and and trees and big plants even though it was still an office setting it was very um, oh gosh green and lush big leafy things and I remember I was standing up looking out and I could see a glass wall in front of me um, and I knew that there were critters in there you know that feeling like uh, you know you just know that there's animals nearby or something was so you you know it's like my senses were picking up that there were some critters walking around in there and I went to walk over to where my desk was and it was very messy but I knew that that was my desk and I put my hand on my chair and there was lots of things on my desk um, but the, the top of the desk was made of glass and I could see straight down into my tr uh, where uh, my desk through the top and there was a round trash can and inside of the trash can were two alligators and this is very similar to what I saw. I could see these two small-ish alligators inside the trash can. And this is very similar to what I could see when I looked down. It had the body of... Um, it had a body of an alligator with the, the rugged but it had a very slender head like a lizard. Very similar to this when I was looking down at, at them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's two, and I said, there's two alligators, small baby alligators in my trash. Then I looked at my desk, there was another one. He was just walking around. And I'm like, I can't sit here, there's, there's alligators on my desk and, and in my trash and I started to back off slowly and I could see the floor it was a light colored tile with a with a black or the dark grout and there were two more on the floor that looked like this and I'm like oh my gosh there's two more and they turned and looked at me as I was slowly backing away and I'm now I'm getting anxious I could feel it I was like oh gosh there's these these alligators and there's two on the floor near me and there's some on my desk and and I looked out at other people's desks and there was more some were on their desk some were on the floor but they weren't interacting with them so I don't know if they could see them or if they were not bothered by it but they were just like everywhere and I paused and I said I said oh uh, okay I don't know what to do should I just turn and run and as I thought should I turn and run I heard the Lord's voice that booming sorry I heard that booming voice don't run have faith and I stood still my feet were firm on the ground and these two little faces that were looking at me on the floor 
that were walking towards me stopped, turned, and walked away. And I could just feel this relief, like, oh my gosh, they're, they're gone. I, I couldn't believe it. They were gone. Well, um, that was the end of the dream. And I, I woke up, and my first thought was, like, I see my daughter, she woke me up, and she's asking me questions, and so I'm, I'm, you know, trying to focus on her and answer a question, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I just dreamt that baby alligators were after me, but then the Lord told me not to run and to have faith, so then my daughter left, I laid back down and went back to sleep, and as I was falling back to sleep, I went into my second dream. Okay, now I see myself in a very busy, big place. It was like a, a mall or a transportation hub, a bus station, a train station, an airport, a mall, um, somewhere where people are coming and going. It was very light, it was very bright, um, uh, glass was everywhere, so that's why I believe like the light. Um, it's silver, you know, like handrails, but silver handrails, so the light's gleaming off of it. So it was a bright looking place, and there were people walking around everywhere. And I knew that I was there to look for someone, my teacher. And I didn't know exactly who this person would be, but I knew I was looking for my teacher. And through the crowd, near like, I think a staircase, there was this woman standing facing me. And she was where she was where I knew she was a hiker, totally different, completely like, like a sore thumb, as you know, they say, like stands out. Like she just totally stood out from all these business professional people uh, going to and fro and um, they're like wearing suits dark suits and she was wearing this lemon yellow like light not even really lemon yellow like a light light yellow uh, long sleeve like a pullover you know a hiker and like a day hiker long pants and a backpack and her hair was pulled back excuse me and she had this smile this beautiful just this beautiful smile and her eyes like glittered and I didn't want to say she had green eyes but she just looked so happy to see me and I was so happy to see her and I was like my teacher like there you are and she was like it was like she, she was going like there you are and um, she soon as this, she made eye contact with me and I made eye contact with her and we had that kind of exchange like oh okay here you are I knew it was time to go it was time to move and we had to move quick man she turned and I could see her hair was like braided one of those cool braids um, down you know very neat very everything was neat pulled pulled together and she turned and I could see her backpack and she was moving through the crowd and she was booking and I was like oh my gosh okay I gotta follow her that's my teacher and I'm supposed to be with her and I gotta go so then I started working my way through the crowd and I remember I saw some stairs and I held on to the handrail and I see her she's already at the end of the stairs and I thought oh my gosh she's so far ahead I gotta catch her and so I remember when I started walking down the stairs I could feel the one stair but then as I was going I was like zooming I was holding onto the rail but I moved faster than I've ever moved it was like my feet weren't touching a step after that. I was, it was just, I was like turbo, gone. And I, I was excited. It was exciting. I was like, ooh, look, I'm so fast. I, I, I knew how fast I was moving. I knew that my feet weren't touching any of the steps. And uh, then I got to the moving walkway. And once I got to the moving walkway, uh, there was a whole huge, I want to say like, 15 people jumped onto the moving walkway ahead of me, ahead of her, and I didn't panic. I could see her. She's still on the moving walkway ahead of me, and I just, I told myself, I said, I got to catch up to her. 
um, where I, we were on it, you know, on the moving walkway together and I had to catch up, but I knew it was going to be okay. Even though I had these obstacles of the people, I just had to work my way through the people to get to her. But the moving walkway, moving walkways are like escalators, but they're flat. And I, um, put my hand on the handrail and I worked my way through the crowd and that was the end of that dream. Okay, so with the two dreams, I, I first off, I wanted to share these with you because at first I, I didn't quite understand. That's why I took some time to pray. But then I realized um, with the first dream with the baby alligators everywhere, it wasn't until I got anxiety and started to panic and back up that they turned and even acknowledged me. And it was like... Um, Not that they were not going to be bothered with me, but it was the fear. And once I showed them fear or that I was, um, I had, you know, anxiety or trauma or, you know, whatever, I was upset by them, then they wanted, they wanted to bother me. So we need to stand firm. And that's when the Lord spoke to me and said, don't run, have faith. I thought that was so clear don't run have faith we need to stand firm in our faith don't run away don't get off your path so that was so clear and I thought okay and I, yeah I need to share these because uh, how encouraging right and then the second one I believe that was Jesus and I believe because he was she was so different than the other people in the crowd uh, that she stood out and she had such a pureness about her. It's just a, it was just a joyful, happy thing. Um, it was like the reward, like, um, well, I, I, maybe it was our, my path to heaven on that moving walkway, but I had to follow my teacher. I had to find my teacher and I had to follow her. And then once I followed her, I moved on, got onto that moving walkway. There's a matter of just staying on my path with her her guiding me because she got ahead of me so so I just wanted to share this with you that we need to keep our faith and stand firm don't run because the enemy is lurking and I'm not sure if the my co-workers in that dream could even see those baby alligators because they were just milling around but they weren't interacting with them they were just around them and uh maybe that's it maybe it was like because they were standing firm and they were they were occupying that they were fine but since i was um you know had a little bit of anxiety because i could see them then i they could my fear and and i wanted to run away so we need to stand firm we still have to occupy because that's biblical we're told we need to occupy but we need to have faith that our teacher's going to show up and get and guide us on our moving walkways. So I'll leave you with this. I thought this was kind of sweet, so I apologize for the comic, but I thought it was so sweet. I love you all, and God loves you so much more, and He wants to know, want us, wants us to know He is there for us. He's always there. We just have to have faith. And like this guy, his eyes are closed, he's smiling, and he's just doing a free fall because he knows God's got him. And God does have him in the palm of his hand, just like you. God has you. So, please take care. I love you, and God loves you more. Sorry. God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon. Take care.